What's going on, everybody? The Knights won the night! Oh, baby! Like, comment, share, subscribe, and let's get this video started, baby! Alright, I'm excited. Why am I excited? Because the Knights won the night. Ooh, we for nothing. That's right, they shut out them sharks and they took them down. All right, let me get to the Knights are now 16-4 and, and 1. They're at 33 points, which is first place in the uh, in the Western Division. Mark andre Fleury, my favorite player, uh, is now at 13-3-0. and zero. Uh, He had his 65th career shutout today, uh, meaning Saturday night, whenever you see this. And uh, he uh, now has... Four in the entire league so far, um, and then uh, and he also had twenty four saves uh, against the San Jose Sharks. Now let's get to the stars of the game. We got Mark Stone who had a goal but no assists. He left in I think it was the third period or the second period uh, at the end of the second period, uh, beginning of the third with an injury. I guess he got hit by a puck while he was at the front while he was at the front of the net. But hey, there you go. And by the way, Mark Stone right wing uh, position. Uh, right winger Alex Tuck plays left wing. He had a goal and no assists. He did really, really well. I'm going to get to him in the end as well. Riley Smith, right wing, plays right wing, had one goal and two assists. And that is in Jonathan. That is Jonathan Marcius. Oh, Marchie. Uh, he plays left wing, no goals. And Alex Petrangelo. From the St. Louis Blues. Um, and you know, uh, he's a defenseman. No goals, but was his other assist, of course. Let's get to the first period. We had 15 minutes and 2 seconds. Mark Stone scores a, a goal. It is his sixth goal of the year. And it was a two-on-one goal. And it is one. It was 1-0 to zero nights at that time. Now, in the first period, that was the only goal that happened. The San Jose had eight shots. Um, but the Knights had led the Sharks uh, 14 shots to eight. So 14 to eight in terms of shots. They, they really couldn't get any of the shots into the back of the net right where they needed to be because, you know, Marc-Andre Fleury showed the leather, showed the gloves, and basically the glove and just kind of saved it. So blocked it from ever going in. Second period. We got five minutes and one second. Alex Tuck scores the first of two goals for himself, making it two to zero nights. He had no assists there. Really good game right there. Now we get to 16 minutes and 38 seconds. Alex Tuck one more time scores his second goal. Uh, it is now three to zero nights. Now we get to 11 minutes and 3 seconds. We got Riley Smith scoring a goal with assists. Of course, as I mentioned in the beginning, by Jonathan Marcheseau and Alex Petrangelo making it 4-0. Nice. And that was in the third period, by the way. Now, uh, I'm just, now you know, we're going to go over the, the shots and all of those stats. The Knights had 32 shots. The San Jose Sharks had 24. The Knights had 29 hits. The San Jose Sharks had 35. The Knights got to have uh, 25 faceoffs. They won 25. San Jose Sharks won 22. Uh, the Knights had uh, two power play opportunities. The Sharks had one. The uh, power play goals, neither team tonight had any power play goals. So, there you go. Uh, neither team either had any short shorthanded goals. Uh, in uh, The Knights had one total penalty. The San Jose Sharks had two pe total penalties. If you add up the penalty minutes, two total, two total penalties. If you add up the penalty minutes, those are two for the Knights, four for the Sharks. Um, now we get to the blocked shots. Knights had 19 blocked shots. Uh, San Jose had... 17, so not too much of a difference, but it did for this game. Uh, it did make a difference for this game. Takeaways. Knights had 12, and Alex uh, Alex Petrangelo, Alex Tuck, for his first goal, made a good, took great advantage of 
that one made a great play on one. And uh, so 12 shots for the Knights, uh, 12 takeaways for the Knights, 6 for the Sharks, uh, 4 giveaways for both teams. I normally would criticize them, but hey, you know what? Hockey's hockey. You're going to have that. All right? You're, you're, you're just going to have that. Now, the 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 um, Knights don't really generate a lot of chances uh, after four teams, but for themselves, they actually generate lots of chances after they find the puck. Uh, they swarm the puck. They throw the puck into the net, which they do swarm the net. They eliminate their guys who are too much in the middle of the net. Uh, and they may not score every shot. They may not score a goal in every shot, but they have a good. Uh, but they have a good chance at it, and they do take them. And they have good and complete passes. And um, you know, this is when they're playing well. When they're not playing well, it's like they choke. It's like they have a night where they just forget how to play hockey. But uh, if you can say one thing about the Knights, they know how to score. They know how to find the puck, and you know they don't give. A lot of uh, teams many chances. And when they do, my man, Marc-Andre Fleury, comes and stops it, blocks it, takes it away from them. And of course, you get help from every single person. Now, um, Tuck takes advantage in this game of, of a takeaway, scores a goal off of that, and then he also scores a goal off of a turnover. Now, that's the kind of thing that you need to be doing as a player. You need to be able to take advantage of a goal whenever you can, uh, of, of a takeaway, of a turnover, of an empty net. You need to be able to find the net. And it looks like Tuck just, you know, he really did know how to do that today. And it really made a big difference. I'm not going to lie. It really did. So uh, the Knights did a pretty good job tonight. I was happy. They kept the Sharks uh, down in the defensive zone. Uh, the Sharks couldn't do anything to the Knights. They couldn't eliminate the guys in the middle of the net. They couldn't get the puck to the back of the net. The shots were not enough. You could say, hey, you know, maybe you don't need a whole bunch of shots. Sure. I mean, and typically in a game, you know, if you do have only that little of shots, 24 for the Sharks, okay, you could say, hey, it's not it's not too bad. Here's the, or, or whatever it was for the Sharks. Here's the biggest problem. Your biggest problem is going to be you didn't generate enough chances. And so, look, the Knights took advantage of that. The Knights did really well tonight They uh, on Saturday, whenever this is uploading. Probably upload on Sunday. So, look, did they do what they needed to tonight? Yes. Did they do what they needed to last night? Yes. Max Patch ready scoring that uh, tie-breaking goal. Could they have done better? Should they have? Yes, but tonight absolutely made up for it. Boy, did they, they they do amazing. What a game, what a game, what a game. I hope Mark Stone gets better. And look, I, I, I don't like Robin Leonard. I, I hate Robin Leonard's playing, but I hope that he does get better. No one likes to be injured. But boy, this was an incredible game. And they're going to play again, hopefully, on, uh, I think it's Monday. So, there you go. The Knights beat the Sharks 4-0. to zero. Mark andre Fleury, 65th career shutout. Uh, shout out and uh, the Knights have won six in a row so this is why they are first place in the division and one last thing this is uh, a lot of people are saying this and I think this is kind of true the Knights there's a difference between the two teams the Sharks are in a building phase a rebuilding phase getting their shit together you know I don't curse on my on my hockey videos, sports videos, but they're getting their thing, their stuff together. They're putting together a new team. They're, I mean, it, it looks like it, but they're really not in in the, not in the, um, perfect stance to go into a championship. The Knights are in competitor mode. Competitor mode. They're in contender mode. They are going for a championship. Though that's the difference between these two teams. How will it play off in the WCF? I don't know. I'm curious to see that. Let me know what you think in the comments. Like, comment, share, subscribe. Share with your friends and family whether you like sports, politics, technology, entertainment, or anything else. You can like this podcast. There's something for everybody. Anyway, that is it for this video. And uh, yeah, I will see you in the next night's video.